time and uh, this is in continuation uh, uh, you know to the last video which I just uploaded and uh, this time what we are going to do is we are actually going to uh, you know get all the names of our sheet uh, in one sheet which I believe I'm writing this on this VBA sheet uh, let me just incorrect uh, correct the sheet so what we want is that every sheet name has to be here right all the sheet and uh, so what you can do is uh, there is a code which uh, we are going to write here which is called the for each in case if you haven't uh, watched my previous video on the same uh, just watch that video uh, not the for each but the code is actually for each code to get the understanding on the for each code you can definitely watch that video and uh, the video uh, is it is it is video number I guess it's video number uh, 42 right so now uh, to further strengthen our code uh, what we are this time what we are going to do is we are going to actually import all the names of the sheet right so just write no uh, export sheet name S write any sub here and now again I'm going to define a variable which will hold a class worksheet class right and I'll hold a row number variable as well which is going to be integer and the row number has to be 1 I'll tell you why we are go going to give this so write the code for each WS in worksheet last time what we did is we actually check the names of each and um, you know of, of we check the names for every sheet in our this entire workbook and uh, through the message box but this time we'll not uh, get the message box but we'll get them written in the in the sheet which is called the VBA right so next that's 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 the way I write syntax and now this time what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to say that uh, uh, sheet the first sheet is my this VBA so I'm not going to write this because I know that the sheet is not going to be changed its position so I'll simply say that cells and the row number row number will be one as I declared and the column has to be one because it's in the A column right so the value has to be ws dot name so that's the gonna be the name of the sheet and thereafter once it writes that name I want that the my row number has to be incremented by one right so that's the code you will write here and uh, now let me run this code now let's run this code so I'm going to press F5 and you'll see the action over here and uh, the moment I'm going to press F5 you see that you'll get all the sheet names one by one right so that might be uh, good for you useful for you in case if your sheet names keeps on changing every day you know uh, day to day activity and uh, you are really worried about this fact that you know whenever you because you might have used these sheets somewhere else in terms of you know by referencing them so uh, if sheet name is going to be changed then possibly um, there, there may be some you know uh, there may occur some uh, some issue may be there you know uh, I can't specifically say that what exactly would be the error but it's always good to check all the sheet names first and you know uh, if the names are the same names uh, because sometimes what happens when you get the files from the server or maybe from some other teams uh, if, if there is any name a change in any, any name and you have written some code that you know uh, every day you are running a code on that specific workbook and it is uh, going on each and every sheet and copying the data and pasting it you know to your this regular workbook so in case if introduction name tomorrow is going to be changed to let's say introduction A introduction B then your code will give you error right so that's the very good way <coughs> that uh, you can first write your sheet names here and you can check whether the sheet names are correct or not as per the last time when you receive the file or maybe you can make it dynamic that every time you know when this workbook uh, when you receive the workbook instead of uh, on instead of uh, selecting the you know sheets which you have written in your code it should actually start um, uh, you know selecting the sheets ac uh, according to these cells right so that's a very uh, useful code and I hope you like the video please do subscribe to my channel in case if you like the video there are around um, you know 40 45 videos over there and uh, that's my email ID in case if you are looking for a training let me know about it and thank you so much for watching the video have a very good day. Bye-bye. Thanks.